How's it going, YouTubers and comic book fans? I'm Joel from Joel's Comic Talk. So this is the fourth part of uh, Scary Halloween Comics. I tried to pick some that represent Halloween really well and represent uh, characters from, uh, comics from the characters um, that represent Halloween. So uh, we it is Halloween weekend, so I hope everybody's going to have a good Halloween on Monday. I have to work like everybody else, so... Uh, I won't be home handing out candy. So, uh, first one I want to show you guys is uh, Tales from the Crypt. Um, this is not the original one. This is Gladstone's reprint because there's a $1.95 uh, on uh, cover price on here. Uh, the original one had the Tencent price on. So, this is a reprint uh, stories from the original uh, Tales from the Crypt. So, I picked this one up for a couple of dollars. So, I thought... This will be an excellent one to showcase for my final part for since it is uh, Halloween weekend. So the comic represents really well. It's in near mint condition. Uh, not a lot of stress marks or anything. As you guys can see, it's nice and crisp and minty. It's very, very, uh, very um, firm and there's nothing uh, wrong with the co cover. There's not ripped. There's no tears. I mean, it's not a high value comic because it is a, a reprint. It is a, let's see, uh, here is from uh, 1990 or something like that. So this is a older reprint, but still, but still a reprint. So uh, this is number one of six. So this is a mini series. So it is uh, Terror Tales of the Crypt. So it is, so, but it's pretty cool. It's a fun uh, horror stories if you like horror comics. So this, to me, this represents uh, Halloween really well. So what do you guys think? Do you have have the reprints or do you actually have the original one? I'm, I wish I had the original one, but I think that's way out of my budget. So uh, it is what it is. But this is a good one to have. If I can't have the real one, then why not just have uh, the reprints? Right, guys? Uh, do you agree with me or do you not? So... Uh, but as you can see, the spine is really well, and there's like no tears or anything, but it is, uh, but like I say, it's three prints. There's a couple uh, cool stories in here. It's all about haunting and ghosts and goblins and stuff like that, so still pretty cool. And like I say, I just recently picked it up for a couple of dollars, so I cannot complain whatsoever. So next comic, it, which I think uh, represents um uh halloween is ripley's believe it or not now unfortunately these are in poor conditions the, the next ones i'm going to show you guys um i wasn't going to show these but i i th don't really have much else for halloween comments at the moment i'm going to hopefully get some more throughout the year and i'll have a new stack of com uh horror comments for that year. but anyways i'm also on tiktok and instagram at Joel's Comments Table, so you can find me there as well, um, and and also on Twitter. Uh, so yes, uh, the, the condition is very poor. There's a couple cool stories in here. So your first story is an affair of honor. Uh, it shows it right here. It shows back in 1867, so way back in the older days, as they called, I think that's the 19th century. So as you guys can see, the Front here's been pressed out, whoever owned this before me. Um, I don't think I paid, paid a lot of money for this. I maybe paid it, paid a dollar or so. I probably got it in a gold key collection. So, but I, or maybe I found it in a dollar bin and just decided to have it. But still, this, to me, this represents Halloween in a big way. Because it's Ripley's Believe It or Not, uh, True Ghost Stories, The Stallion uh, Must Die. So there is a story about a... Uh, cowboy and his talent with the bad guy looking over. So, I mean, in this condition, it's really not worth uh, that much. If it was in higher grade, I saw it selling on eBay for about $5, $5 or so. But still, I try not to put value on my comments because, my, to me, comments are valuable because they are in my collection. I know a lot of people uh, care about the value, but... I mean, if I'm going to sell them, I I would care, but because I don't sell comics, I, I but to me the values are pretty valuable. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is represents Halloween or do you think not? 
Um, I, I, I think it does, just because it's a Ripley's Believe It or Not. Do you believe the story, or do you not believe it? I think this was a TV show at one point. I can't remember. Maybe you guys can uh, help me on that, too, I, if there was a TV show. But I do love Go Key Comics. I love these older uh, stories. But uh, I will be showing... <coughs> excuse me. I will be showing some Go Key Comics, some more uh, cartoon ones in the new year. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, so, again, I wasn't going to show this... <coughs> excuse me. I wasn't going to <coughs> uh, show this one, but it's um, because, just because how poor the condition is. But it is a true ghost story uh, storyline in here, so I thought I'd show it. Uh, but as you can see, the, there is a spine uh, tick. Uh, like the cover is just ward and it's uh, just beaded and battered. So, again, I, I was not the first owner of this comet, so. Whoever owned it before me did not take care of their comments, and it really makes me mad. Uh, when you guys buy comments, what do you think? Do you think they should all be mint? Or do you realize when you buy comments that they should be uh, not uh, just, or do you accept the condition for what it is? So yeah, like, I mean, the cover is just falling apart, so it <clears throat> it is not... Uh, going to be really valuable because the like I say whoever owned this before me did not uh, take care of their comments but it is a true ghost uh, ghost story by Whitman comments it's not Goki where uh, this one is Goki but so uh, Whitman's another offshoot uh, of this that company I believe but you guys can uh, c uh, correct me on this but this is a broad trick age comic so which is why I I am showcasing it. I believe it's 1976, so it is a uh, like a 45 year old comet. But again, I hate it when people don't uh, take care of the comments, and when somebody like me goes and buys it, it's not that it's not great. So with the cover being off, I definitely put it in the poor, the very poor condition, or like a, a 0.5 or a one out of ten. So it is a uh, unfortunately not. Not not a poor uh poor comment. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I am I'm still going to keep it. I will bag and board it, and I'll just put it in my Go Key Whitman box because I mean nobody else will want it because it is, um because it is such poor condition. So I'm asking you a question. What do you guys uh do with comments like this? Do you keep them? Do you not? Do you give them to other people or do you uh, just charge a little bit. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts on when you guys get comments like this. I mean, I try not to buy comments when they're ripped and everything like this, but um, sometimes it is uh, it is what it is. So this is another release, but they were, believe it or not, uh, in the same run as this one. I did not t get, get the time to um, find out um, how how big the run is. I think there's uh, it, there's quite a few issues for this. Again, this is another Broad Sage uh, comic. Is it bet better shape? The cover's attached, thankfully. And there's, uh, on the front cover, as you can see, there is an Undying Hate where a couple um, definitely is not supposed to be married, but they do. And there's a ghost that doesn't like it. So it is kind of a haunting story. So, do you believe these stories? Do you not? So, let me try and find the date here. It is 1977, if I can read the writing. So, another broad chase comment. So, this is in a bit better shape. I think I maybe paid $2 for this one. I mean, it's probably not worth much more than that. But again, uh, because it is in my collection, I try not to uh, place value on my comments because they are priceless to me. And I'm just a big comment collector. And... Thank you for watching and thank you for um, joining me in this series for uh, Halloween collections. I hope you've been enjoying it. But anyways, um, this is, as I can say, as I say, there is a bit of stress marks and there is some wear and tear on here. But there are several different stories in here ranging from four pages all the way to eight pages. So uh, Goki did a really good job of making stories complete from start to finish for making short stories, which is great. Uh, nowadays, comics can't really say the same. They stretch the 
story out over several several issues, including the recent run of Action Comics. They did it over like 16 issues, which is a lot for a storyline, I think. So, do you guys like the shorter stories from back in the day? Do you not? So, to me, it's, it's great. So, again, there's a little bit of the spines in not bad condition. There is some rich on, on the top. Um, the, um, and unfortunately, the, the, the pages are folded and is indented. But uh, I will bag and board this. I bag them in modern uh, bags because they do, they do fit nice and snug. And it will keep the comments safer. But um, so I, I just want to show on the back, there's an advertisement for uh, 100 toy sh soldiers. I remember playing with these uh, when I was younger. And they used to be so much fun. But... Now that I'm a doll, I'm like, yeah, why did I play with those? So, why did you guys say, did you guys play with the uh, toy soldiers back in the day or did you not? Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I wish it was, if this was in better condition, it would totally be uh, worth a lot more. I've seen it selling on eBay between 5 and $10, but with the condition it is, uh, unfortunately, not every comment is going to be um, pr uh, worth a lot, but... Um, it is what it is. That's I have comments that are worth fifty cents, and I have comments that are worth up to a couple hundred dollars. Like some of my graded comments back there, they're they're worth it anywhere from one hundred fifty to two hundred dollars. But because I pay, I, I spent the time, I got them graded. Uh, to me, they're they're priceless. So I will never sell them unless I'm at, really have to. So uh, this last one I want to show you guys is another gold key from. Ridley's Believe It or Not. There's several different haunting stories. And as you can see on the fr front cover, there's a, a ghost and she's trying to get the guy. And that that is one of the stories in here. It, it, it's pretty cool. And it's like, do we do you like these all these haunted stories or do you not? So I just want to show you guys the uh, front cover. It's the girl from the lake. So this, did this girl uh, really rise from the lake and join the people in the car or did they just imagine it so that is a true Ripley's Believe It or Not uh, comment but as and, and I just want to show you guys uh, in this page here like the girl vanished from the from the car so now they're trying to decide whether she's real or not so what do you guys think is that are they real or th are they not so yeah there's some good uh, horror type comments out there uh, Gold Key definitely has some good good ones so um do you guys collect horror do you not collect horror i mean i i collected a little bit because uh for like halloween and special cases that i could show you guys um some cool cool stuff for videos but and also you can join me for uh, on tiktok and instagram at joe's comments table uh, i do joe's comment talk on there as well but anyways uh, so, yeah, I mean, again, the comment's not in great uh, condition. There is, uh, there's a bit of scuff here, and it is starting to far, fall apart. Um, I'm Let me just see the year for this. This is 1975, so it's, this was the year I was born, so I'm not going to say how old this comic is, because you guys might guess how old I am, so... I mean, I don't think I'm that old, but I guess the younger, according to the younger people, I do. I am, but haha. Uh, but anyway, so for how old this comic is, is it not uh, bad shape? I wish it was in better condition. Maybe I'll start trying and find uh, how, how, maybe I'll start trying to upgrade these comics and maybe eventually figure out something to do with them. So um, I'm going to leave you with a final thought. So. Halloween is fun. Halloween is uh, supposed to be uh, for scary and spooky stuff. I mean, it does that in the week. So most of us do have to work uh, during the day or late evening. So, But I just enjoy talking about comments with you guys. And I enjoy uh, showcasing some comments that I think that are uh, worthy of Halloween, that represents Halloween. So what do you guys think? Did I put some good ones this time or did I not? And again, I am on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. And for Halloween on Sunday uh, throughout the day, I will be dressed in my Halloween costume. And you'll be able to see me on TikTok at Joel's Comments Table. 
and I'll be doing some special Joel comment talks for in my costume. So be on the lookout for that on Sunday for uh, Joel's comments talk. So um, let me know if, what you guys think of these comments. Do you do you like these? Do you not clap them? I know a lot of newer clappers do not like the goal key, but I definitely uh, like goal key comments. I think they're uh, wonderful. And I'll show more goal key comments in the future and when I uh, get them as well. So, And I just love talking uh, comments with you guys. And I do thank you guys for watching and liking and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys uh, on next week in November. I'm going to have some winter thing comments from Archie and Looney Tunes and I'll try and find some Marvel stuff for you guys so thank you very much for watching and we'll just have fun uh, talking about comments throughout uh, the, the year so thank you very much guys have a great week